Hey, what's up, man? Gary Walker here with LiveAnabolic.com. All right, in this video, I'm gonna give you five chest exercises that you can do at home using nothing but dumbbells, all right? Cool thing is, it doesn't even require heavy dumbbells. So I'm gonna show you how to do these exercises. And there's a ton of exercises you can do at home with dumbbells. So if you don't have access to a gym, you have light dumbbells at home, then don't let that keep you from building a big chest, from building a strong chest, from making progress, all right? Because there's so many different things you can do, man. So I'm gonna give you five of the ones that I really like that are kinda gonna help develop a full and all around chest, all right? So upper, lower, mid, outer, inner. So just focus on a nice looking, sexy chest. So that's kind of what we're gonna focus on. The first exercise we're going to do is basically two movements in one. I've done these a lot before, but this is a floor version of it. You can do it on a bench if you have a bench. However, I'll show you on the floor. It is a chest fly to squeeze press, all right? So basically what you wanna do here my starting position is depressing my shoulder blades. If you'll notice, the dumbbells are way up here. When a lot of people work chest, they bring their dumbbells, barbells, whatever they're using, all the way up to the top. If you notice that little extension, well, that's gonna be more, that's not chest work, all right? That's gonna be more front delt, anterior delt. So basically depress those shoulder blades. And when you do that, it also helps keep those shoulders stable and safe. All right, from here, I like to contract my core, keep my abs nice and tight, and then bring the dumbbells out nice and wide. Here, you're gonna feel a good stretch in your chest, and then bring them straight back to the top. I'm gonna let you hear this hit, all right? Because what you're doing is going from a fly to a dumbbell squeeze press. So you're squeezing these together as hard as possible. So even if I did nothing else but stay in this position and squeeze these together, my chest is going to contract. It's an isometric contraction. You'll feel this contracting, all right? But what we're doing is squeeze as hard as possible all the way down, lower to your chest, and then press back to the top while squeezing the entire time. All right, from there, that's one rep. Straight back to the fly position, nice good stretch. Straight back to the middle, press, hold that press all the way down and press, all right? Again, while you're pressing them together, you're coming down into a dumbbell bench press. This is a dumbbell squeeze press. You're squeezing, squeezing, down, up. Let's show you one more. Full fly, squeeze, down and up. All right, that's the first exercise you're going to be doing. Now we're gonna be doing a push-up, but it's a depth push-up. So basically you're doing a push-up, but you're using the dumbbells to get you a little higher off the ground. It's creating more of a center deficit, creating more depth, more of a stretch in your chest. When you're doing these, you wanna make sure you're doing, just like any standard push-up, keeping your core tight, your back and your neck rigid. Don't allow your hips to sag down to the bottom. So basically you wanna make sure you're straight. I like to go a little bit wider since I can get that good stretch for that added depth. So dumbbell depth push up here, all the way, good stretch, all the way back to the top. One point, when you're at the top, don't just press and drop back, press and drop back. The goal should be trying to get those biceps together. Obviously, you're not gonna be able to move them, but create that mental image. You're bringing biceps, 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 and you're squeezing. By doing that, you're contracting your chest. All right, let's show you a couple more of these. Depth push-ups, good stretch. Boom, you notice my elbows come in, my biceps come closer. That's the goal there. Is it two more? There. There, all right, get that good stretch. Now we're gonna do a similar exercise, 
but we're gonna target more upper chest. A foot elevated depth push up, all right? By elevating your feet, you're gonna get more into some incline work here. Get your feet up on a chair or whatever you have access to. All right, here, stretch, press. Same thing with the contraction, biceps together. Full stretch, contract. All right, two more exercises. Basically, what we're gonna do here, all right, trying to get my air, start doing these exercises and holding my breath so you don't hear me breathing too hard. So then I start talking, it sounds kind of weird. All right, so basically we've gone through three. Chest fly to squeeze press. Dumbbell depth push up, and then feet elevated dumbbell depth push up. Now we're gonna do some unilateral work. So basically you're gonna do another fly, but you're gonna do a unilateral fly. Unilateral meaning one side at a time. All right, let's get this up here. That again helps with core work. All these stabilizer muscles in your core, retract that shoulder blade. I keep my hand here. You can keep it out for balance wherever you need to. Key here is to try to keep this opposite shoulder down and not allow it to lift when you come down, all right? So keep your shoulders back, support, good stretch, and contract. What I like to do with this contraction, instead of stopping here, if you see the dumbbell still on the outside of my body, I like to bring it right over the midline. So right over the mid chest, bring, bring, bring that across and focus on that deep contraction to help with the center thickness of your chest, all right? Good full stretch, come across, come across, and really hammer that contraction right there. You should, you can keep your hand on your chest and you should definitely be able to feel that. Do a couple more of these. All the way across, one more. And across, all right. I'm gonna switch sides for this other exercise just to balance it out. Cause I did my right side here as a demo. So we'll do the left as a demo because we're doing another unilateral exercise, but this is a unilateral. Again, these are all floors, all right? We're doing floor presses. You can do these on the bench if you have a bench. Otherwise, I just want you to see that everything can be done on the floor. You don't need a bench to make progress or to build a good chest. This is a unilateral floor press. Difference with the press, you already did the full fly. On the press, I like to start with the dumbbell straight. Uh, basically, palms facing away and then rotate them out slightly. All right, you'll notice the palms now are going across my body. Instead of straight away, now they're going across. That's more of a neutral grip. What we're doing is rotating this humerus here rotating that's external rotation and that's going to give us more clearance in our shoulder capsule so it's going to keep your shoulders safe all right same thing with the balance either out to the side out on your abs wherever you want to do that and a wide stretch here and then press back and over the center okay that's a press the reason i'm saying a wide it's easy to come straight down you see where my elbow is in relation to my body when you come straight down, when you're that close to your body, this is gonna be a lot of tricep work. That's a lot of tricep work. We want you to focus on that chest. So the chest, when you're coming down, you're coming out, away, away, away. All right, you can see that where that is. I feel a massive stretch in this position across my entire pec. Here, and then you're coming up and in together, just like that. Out up and in out up and in all right so this is a floor press but a unilateral version the benefit to the unilateral one you don't need as much weight not only do you not need as much weight which if you're at home and you have heavy dumbbells man go as heavy as you can still push yourself and challenge yourself i'm using 25s i wanted to show you how to do these all right however if you can do 25s with the fly and that's heavy but it's light with the press but you have 50s 
use the 50s. If you have 35s, use the 35s. Use whatever you need to, to challenge you with these exercises. That being said, do what you can with what you have, all right? So basically do all of these exercises. Go for three to five sets of each. So three to five sets of each exercise, depending once again on your current conditioning and fitness levels, where your starting point is. And do that and do these for about 12 to 15 reps. So again, you're going light. So you're not gonna be shooting for five, six or seven reps. You want it to be challenging and you wanna create some intensity. So get those reps up a little bit high, as high as you can without going to the 25, 30 rep range, right? If you don't have heavy enough weights and you have to do the 20, 25 reps, what I would prefer as opposed to going that high in reps, slowing down the cadence, all right? Slow down five second eccentric and then three to four second concentric up here slow down the cadence and then that heavy that lightweight will feel a lot heavier and it's creating more stimulation in the muscle and a lot more intensity as well all right so let me know if you have any questions about any of these exercises again i wanted to show you five you can do at home five that's going to get you great benefits so do these again go with your pace three to five sets shoot for those reps that i recommended and incorporate this three times a week if you want to really blow that chest up, do these three times a week with the rest day in between. If you're following another full body program or something like that, and you just want to do some additional chest work, then just do these every third day. So do these twice a week, all right? A Monday and then a Thursday, something like that. And that will actually help give you some additional work on top of your other weight training that you're doing. But again, if your chest is a weak point, Add this to what you're doing and it will start coming up pretty quickly actually. But again, comment below with any questions, man, and share this video with your buddies, with some family members, because I know you know some people that can benefit from working out at home. That being said, subscribe to the channel, man, if you haven't already done so.